Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of our family escape. This episode is a little bit different from the rest of the episodes we have brought to you. This is our very first official our family escape Airbnb edition. <laughs> to you from this home in the Bogue area in Montego Bay. Now a lot of you always come to me asking me for advice about Airbnbs, what to look for, where to stay, what are the best places, what, what are the tricks <laughs> and secrets to find that special space that is going to bring you peace of mind and help you have the amazing time that you're looking forward to forward to having while you're escaping from the daily life so i think this airbnb is an amazing example a very good starting point for our newest airbnb adventure and i say that because so many times we get fixated with this perfect idea of what the perfect Airbnb means and we miss out we miss out in a lot of places that offer so much more like for example this house so this house is in a very quiet community it's a hilly area in Montego Bay it's in the Borg area it has four bedrooms four bathrooms it has an amazing open floor plan which is essential when you are traveling with a family and even friends everyone wants to be together at all times so having a floor an open floor plan for me is key whenever i'm shopping for airbnbs so this home definitely has a nice floor it has stories many different levels so we have a bathroom on the main floor so if you're traveling traveling with elderly persons they can definitely use that main floor um, bathroom it was also closer to the kitchen moving to the second floor we have two separate bathrooms with two queen size beds each bathroom has its own bathroom and shower and then you have the master bathroom about this Airbnb that makes it more special makes sets us apart from um, the other Airbnb settings we're not talking about infrastructure and other amenities is the attention to details when it comes to the bedding this Airbnb bedding is exceptional is extremely soft beautiful it has a, a nice mixture of touches of colors but it's very subtle that is not really popping that much that will hurt your eyes <laughs> like some places we have been to i think they did an amazing job selecting the quality of the sheets that makes such a difference when you are tired when you are getting away from the hustle and bustle when you are trying to escape from your daily life you want to come back to a place that just grabs you and hug you and that is your bed at night so for those of you doing airbnb business something very important whenever you are setting your airbnb you want to make an income from it i recommend that you have one a very good soft mattress and the best sheet sets 
that you can find and make sure that always white is the pre predominable color in your sheet set in this case it has a little accent on it but i think it makes it very classy it makes it very unique and special i really love it and i'm thinking about adopting this idea for our own airbnbs so moving on to the biggest asset this property has. Now, this property doesn't have a pool. Most of the Airbnbs that we go to, either there is one in the complex or the house has a pool because our kids love water. In this trip, we plan to go to the beach all this time because we own Montego Bay, an amazing snorkeling video. We really were not looking for a place with a pool, but met me tell Uno so. There is no video or picture I can take of this view to my left right here that will do it justice. This view is to die for. You don't need no pool, you don't need no nothing. All you need is just to wake up and look out and you have a view of the entire Montego Bay Bay. You can see the lagoons, you can see the boathouse restaurant, you can see the jack club, you can see the port, you can see the hills to your right. It's just amazing. So another thing that we like to have whenever we go to house Airbnbs is yard because we have a toddler that's making a lot of noise in the background right now and closing doors and it's very important for us to have that green space where he can just run around and also have an end so he can play a little football and so on here this property also has a lot of luscious trees fruit trees that we love to see even even if we're not going to consume the fruits we love to see all the fruit trees they have all the mangoes and the breadfruit coconut jump plum banana you name it so on and all hi <laughs> <laughs> this is my co-host Tao. Say hi Tao. Hi, kisses. Let's talk about now the most important thing, the money. So this Airbnb is going for a little bit over $400 a night. I don't like to share a specific price for properties or things because by the time you're watching this video, probably the price went up or it went down. So what I'll do is that I share the link to this Airbnb on the description below so you can tap on it whenever you're ready and see what is the going price now now the reason why I said that this is a, an important part of it is because we were looking at other properties that were closer to Hip Street it was just a three-bedroom townhome and it was it was two <laughs> it was twice the price per night compared to this one and the only amenity that it had above it was that in the complex that it was located there was a pool and they were closer to the sea but it's not this, a sea that you can swim on it's just a sea to look at so for us we decided to compromise on that and go with the Airbnb that had the sectional view the open floor, floor plan and the bigger bedrooms to stay at it also has a very nice driveway that I can uh, that can accommodate our new van and if my mother-in-law or my husband cousin was to visit they will have ample parking and it will be no issue and everybody will be behind the gates and it will be very safe and secure so as I said is when whenever you are shopping around for Airbnb it's up to you it is whatever your priority is but I just suggest that you don't get in a box that it has to be this little place in front of the sea with a pool because if you once you are in Montego Bay you automatically have access to those things otherwise and if you're saving money if you are getting a better price for a location that offers you more then why not go for it again guys this is not a paid ad I am NOT working with this Airbnb owner I don't know you I don't even know who they are I just love to share this information with you because you always come to me asking requesting and I think it's just very helpful to have a video with visuals that just show you exactly where we stay and I get to explain to you why is it that we made decisions of getting places such as this and before I go I want to big up the host for this Airbnb if you're watching big up on yourself because they had this nice little detail guys when we walk through the front door 
we walk into well, this is ours so we travel with this but we walk into this beautiful array of fruits and snacks and there was also a bottle of Cotes de Provence I am not really a wine connoisseur oh it's a rosé it's a rosé there was a bottle of rosé waiting for us and also there was although you know guys I am not a fan of plastic bottles moment of silence for that <laughs> but there was um, water bottles on each side of the bed and also nice nice tissue I think those details make your Airbnb setting different and those are the little details that will guarantee you that extra star if you are a host now i am taking notes myself because as you know we have airbnbs and hopefully i will get to do a proper video about of our property in portland and i'll give you more tips if you are looking forward to become a host but for now if you are looking for if you are looking to stay at the airbnb i hope that this that you found this video helpful and that if you did you give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so this is the end of our family escape airbnb edition i hope you enjoy and i'll see you all again on the next escape bye mucho love <laughs>